ethanol metabolism in about three minutes. Ethanol is a two carbon alcohol and when it's consumed it's metabolized primarily in the liver to acetaldehyde by the enzyme, the cytosolic enzyme ADH1. And this reaction results in the conversion of 1NAD plus to 1NADH. The uh, rate of ethanol metabolism is limited by the activity of ADH1 and ADH1 activity is prim primarily limited by the amount of NAD+. Uh, acetaldehyde is responsible for much of the toxic uh, effects of alcohol consumption and it is converted to the acetate ion by the mitochondrial enzyme acetaldehyde dehydrogenase 2. And this reaction also results in the generation of 1-NADH. Uh, acetate can be converted either in the liver or in muscle uh, and heart tissue to acetyl-CoA and this reaction in the liver is uh, catalyzed by acetyl-CoA synthetase 1 and in muscle tissue by acetyl-CoA synthetase 2. And this is an ener energy consuming reaction that results in conversion of one molecule of ATP to AMP. Uh, the fate of the acetyl-CoA, uh, it can go into two different pathways. If it stays in the liver, it can be used to synthesize fatty acids. And if it goes to energy requiring tissues such as the heart or muscle, it can enter the tricarboxylic acid cycle. So at high concentrations of ethanol, there's one other system that comes into play for this initial conversion of ethanol to acetaldehyde. And that is the microsomal ethanol oxidizing system, or MEOS. And this is a cytochrome P450 enzyme system. Uh, cytochrome P450s are binary enzymes which uh, are involved in detoxifying a wide range of substrates. And it's a family of enzymes. Uh, the particular enzyme with the highest activity towards ethanol is called CYP2E1. And this reaction is again energy consuming and it results in conversion of 1 NADPH to NADP+. And the KM value for CYP2E1 to ethanol is much higher than for ADH1. So um, the uh, affinity for ADH1 is much higher. So the MEOS system is primarily active in uh, people who consume a large amount of alcohol. So if the rate of alcohol consumption exceeds the rate of metabolism, ethanol becomes widely distributed in the body. And because of its amphipath amphipathic nature, it uh, inserts itself into membranes such as a uh, plasma membrane. And if it inserts itself into membranes of neurons, it has the effect of increasing the activity of GABAergic receptors and decreasing the activity of glutaminergic receptors. Okay, that's ethanol metabolism in about three minutes. Now, you can try it. <laughs>